Hi, so today we're going to talk about uh, Excel and uh, pivot table and pivot charts, but still regarding management. So we have seen in the last summary, and uh, as you're probably going to see in the project, that management is about um, communication, um, really f helping the employee um, manage its own goals, but it's also to control because you have to help employees set goals. You have to have a path where the company is going. So this is where pivot charts and pivot tables uh, comes in handy. So if you have followed uh, followed the last three years of my academic process here at St. Lawrence, you have uh, probably known that we have made a lot of Excel documents and um, videos on it. So you can probably refer to them if ever you want to have uh, further information on Pivot Table. But for now, here uh, I chose a company named Nike, which you all probably know. It's a sport good and sportswear uh, company that is based in the um, United States. But here I wanted to, uh, for example, make as if I was a manager at uh, Nike. So here I made a, a the results of a survey for the favorite brands of running shoes by age and generation. So we have millennials and baby boomers. And here we can see the percentage and the uh, stats of people, for example, under 20 years old or over 61, that like, for example, New Balance and Hoka, One One, Nike here. So here what the, the management and Nike could, could say is that they're really popular uh, at the beginning, but after it's a pretty much a downfall for Nike. So they really have to focus on people under 30 years old. So this is what, one information that Nike could uh, could have in management. After here, we have Nike's revenue repartition in millions of dollars per, um, per their, their, their brands. So Nike has managers, obviously, that are managing the revenues per, uh, per brand. So these managers' job are to uh, take data and and assemble the results to better better uh, command projects employees and to better focus the attention uh, the company's attention on various for example brands because Nike has Nike sportswear Nike running Jordan brand Nike training Nike soccer Nike basketball and a, lo a lot more. So here, for example, a manager could understand that uh, Nike sportswear in the women's field has really, really went off here in uh, to, uh, 2020, but Nike training in women has went down, has gone down, such as Nike soccer. So uh, there's a lot of information that uh, a Nike manager could get from this. But after if we go into pivot charts and pivot table, this is what we want for today. So here we have the sum of the um, the revenues for 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020 per brand. So what you could do here is that, for example, you want only the sum for the women. So the numbers have changed and the graph has changed as well. But here you could say I want men and everything is going to change as well. So if you want all, the, the data is also going to change. And then you could see, for example, here we want it to change as well. So for the men, and you could really see what what the uh, pattern there is and the which, really which uh, brand of Nike is best in uh, what year, so what, where to focus the attention. But if we look here, if I move it here, you can also see how to do a pivot chart field. So for example, I could choose to, to change the values, the legend, the filters, but here uh, as a manager at Nike, I really wanted to put the emphasis on um, filters, genders. Um, 
yeah, so this is it here. I could try, I could um, take off, for example, Jordan brand and Jordan basketball. If ever I do not want any data on uh, the sport basketball, so I could take off that or I could simply focus on running and training if I, that's what I wanted to do. So this is a type of information that a manager could really focus on uh, at Nike because it really shows a overall picture of the company and its financial position. Of course, there are plenty of others uh, of other information that the manager could look at, but today we're really focusing on uh, pivot charts and pivot table. But we also have, for example, the box and whisker of the Nike revenues and another uh, pivot table that I made for the previous one. Yeah, so as a summary, this is um, something that is really fun to play at as a manager here at Nike. And it's it's really fun because it, it gives us a lot of information on specific data. And we can really see the patterns, the trends, and uh, the places where there is a big difference in data. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how a manager can look at financial uh results as a part of its job and if ever you want more information as i said at the beginning uh, you can look at previous videos on pivot charts and pivot tables and uh, or if you want more information on management please visit my blog there is a lot of information down there so i hope you enjoyed and see you soon